my name is Pastor Rory Butler, and I'd like to continue to teach Mandarin Chinese for preaching the gospel. So thanks for watching. If you've been watching our other videos, then you've already began to accumulate some basic vocabulary, and we'd like to continue to build on that today. So get ready, and let's keep on learning. Okay, today the first word that we would like to learn is the word for Bible. That's a word that you must know if you're going to be sharing the good news in Chinese. And how to say Bible in Chinese is very simple. It's a combination of two words, the word for holy and the word for scripture. So the word for Bible in Chinese is sheng jing, sheng jing, sheng jing. So in Chinese, there's many terms for scripture because there's a Buddhist scripture and the, there's a scripture for the Muslims and so on. But sheng jing is specifically for Christians. That's the Holy Bible in Chinese. Another word that we must learn, uh, actually two words, and they both mean church. In Chinese, there's two different ways to refer to church. One refers more to the actual church body and the other refers to the church structure, the church building. So the first one, which is the most important, it refers to the church body, the church gathering, the church people, is the word jiao hui. Jiao hui. Now jiao hui refers specifically to the church, as in the people of God, the actual organization of the church. There's another word that's also important to know, and that would be what the word that most of the outsiders, non-Christians, non-believers would be familiar with, and that would be the word for church building. And that word is jiao tang, jiao tang. So you would want to understand the difference here. Jiao hui is the church, as in the people of God, the gathering of God's people. And then jiao tang is referring to the actual church building, the church structure. Actually, on a side note, for some of those that are a bit more advanced, there's another term that's used for church. It's not used very commonly. It's used quite a bit in Taiwan, and it's used mostly by one certain church group, and that's the word jiao hui. Well, you might not have heard a difference between the first one jiao hui and jiao hui, but it's actually a different pronunciation in Chinese. And the word jiao hui is actually a new word that was invented by this church group because it actually means it's very similar to the Greek word for church, ecclesia, called out once. So they replaced the original word jiao, which means religion, and they've uh, replaced it with the word jiao, which means like to call out. And so actually, and hui just means gathering, so the called out ones, it's actually a very nice translation if you want to translate the Greek word ecclesia into Mandarin. But anyway, that's not really that important. It's not very commonly used. It's mostly just used in, in Taiwan in a certain church group. Another word that would be very important to know is the word for the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven. And that would be tian guo. Tian guo. Tian means heaven. And guo means kingdom. So for the Chinese way to say kingdom of heaven, it would be tian guo. And that's the word they use in the Bible quite frequently. Uh, another word that's also similar to tian guo is the word for kingdom of God. In Chinese, to say kingdom of God, you say shen de guo, shen de guo, or you could just say it, you could shorten it and say shen guo, but the clearest way to refer to it is shen de guo, and shen, as we learned in previous lessons, is the word for God, and guo means kingdom. And if you put the de in the middle, that means of, so shen de guo means kingdom of God. You could say shen guo without the de, and it also means kingdom of God, but it's a more abbreviated form. Now I'd like to teach us uh, uh, some phrases, and we'll start with some very important ones. Previously we learned some phrases, yes, who I need, Jesus loves you, and, and shun, I need, God loves you, and so on. Uh, but let's learn some more theological phrases. And the first one we want to learn is, Jesus is the Son of God. Yesu shi shen de arzi. Yesu shi shen de arzi. So that might seem like a mouthful, but I tell you from experience, you can learn that, you can memorize it, and you'll be able to say it in the right moment. Yesu shi shen de arzi. Yesu shi shen de arzi. Jesus is the Son of God. Another important phrase that we need to learn is this, that God is the true God. He's the one true God. And that would simply be shang di shi zhen shen. 
Shangdi is the word that specifically refers to the Christian God. There's two words for God in Chinese, Shen, which is more general. It just means God, but it can refer to other gods. And the word Shangdi, which is actually more specifically referring to the Christian God. So you're not going to call the gods in Buddhism uh, Shangdi. Because Shangdi refers to the highest emperor, the, 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 the highest of all. So, but Shen just means God. So it could mean like a little God or a big God or the one true God. But anyway, what we want to learn here is that Shangdi shi zhen shen. Shangdi shi zhen shen. So Shangdi, which means God, is the true God. Shangdi shi zhen shen. Okay, so another word that's important to know is because when you share the gospel with a lot of Chinese people, their response will often be something like, oh, I'm a Buddhist. And so what it, how do you say Buddhist? In Chinese, the way to say Buddhist is Fu Jiao Tu. Fu Jiao Tu. Fu means Buddha. Jiao means religion. And Tu means like a disciple or a follower. So Fu Jiao Tu means a Buddhist. And to refer to Buddhism itself, you would simply say Fu Jiao. Fu Jiao. And of course, Christianity is Ji Du Jiao. Ji Du means Messiah, and Jiao is religion, so Ji Du Jiao. And so, as we learned before, a Christian is Ji Du Jiao Tu, or Ji Du Tu. You can shorten it and just say Ji Du Tu, a Messiah follower, or you could say it the long way, Ji Du Jiao Tu, a Messiah religion follower. That's how you say those words in Chinese. Okay, so that's going to be all for today. Uh, I hope those words are helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to contact me. Our website is www.zanmeitang.com. And that's zanmeitang.com. And that means Praise Chapel in Chinese. So God bless you and have a great day.